Let's now look at the parts of the guitar. I have an acoustic guitar here, and a little later in this lesson, I'm going to show you the parts of a guitar on an electric. The first thing let's look at is that the guitar is a little bit like a person. It has a head. The head is right here. It has a neck, this long piece of wood here, and it has a body, this whole piece right here. Now, on an acoustic guitar, the tuning pegs are on these metal pieces, are on the top and the bottom of the head. And these control the pitch or the sound of the strings. And if you tighten them, the sound will go higher. And if you loosen them, the sound will go lower. And the notes here for the strings are E, which is this tuning peg right here. The B, which is the middle one on the bottom, that's the second string. The third string here is this tuning peg. Then, when we go to the fourth string, which is one of the thicker strings, right here, that D is for this tuning peg on an acoustic guitar. These are the tuning pegs for the acoustic, and some electric guitars that have tuning pegs on the top and bottom of the head. So here's the A. That's the fifth string, and here's the E, the low E, the thickest string. So obviously we have the strings of the guitar here. Then we have the frets, and the frets are these little squares or rectangles that start out larger and get smaller as they go up the neck. This is going up on the guitar, and this is going down, and that has to do with the sound. If you start here and move your finger up, it's a higher sound up here. So these are the frets. The fret metal is right here, and those are what separate the frets. Then we have the body right here, as we mentioned, and we have the pick guard right here on some guitars. That's so, so that you don't scratch up your guitar as you're strumming it. We have the bridge back here, and that holds the strings in place on our guitar. Then on an acoustic guitar, we have the sound hole, and this is the strings vibrate when you play them, and then the sound goes into the body and goes out projected, and it's louder that way. And then finally, we have this piece of plastic here called the nut, and the nut keeps the strings above the fretboard. Let's now look at the electric guitar. The electric guitar is similar, but has a few different features. We have the head here on an electric guitar. We have the neck here on the electric guitar. And we also have the body right here, this part of the guitar. Then we have the tuning pegs. A lot of times on electric guitars, the tuning pegs are just on the top of the head. And the thinnest string is towards the end, and it goes up to the thicker strings closer, as you get closer here. So the E is this tuning peg, the B, the second string, is this tuning peg, the G, this tuning peg, that's the third string, the D, the fourth string, getting thicker, is this tuning peg, kind of in the middle, the A, is this tuning peg right here. And the low E, our thickest string, is right here closest to us. Now we have a few other things that you might notice on an electric guitar. And if you're playing an electric guitar, you might have these as well. The first one are called pickups. And they actually pick up the sound. Instead of the sound hole that we had in our acoustic guitar, the vibrating strings, the sound, actually goes into these magnets and then it's projected out through this cable here you can see into an amplifier which is like a speaker that makes it louder and you can change the sounds now we also have a switch here and this is called the pickup switch and this changes the configuration of the pickups sometimes it will just play this pickup sometimes just this one 
sometimes the one in the back, and then sometimes combinations or all of them. And I'll play some different sounds when I, and switch the pickup the toggle switch so that you can hear the difference. Here's one sound. Now the same little melody with a different pickup switch. And another one. And another one. Can you hear the difference? And one more. Listen for the difference with this one. Thank <laughs> you. 